I do a lot of contemporary music, and it's because I believe that the music written today creates a kind of thread to the past and reflects a whole range of who we've become as human beings. The ugliest sides of us, as well as the most beautiful sides of us, are in that music. It helps us experience these things as a whole, when everybody in the audience is together. Part of the reason that I was interested in adding multimedia, adding video um, to performance, was actually a sense that the listener is a very active part of the audience and that ultimately there's no correct way of perceiving the music. Tal's video is one response to the piece. The way that he's able to manifest it on screen is incredible, but the way that one would listen to the piece without video or with another video is just as valid in a sense. There's a validity to how anyone could respond to a work of art. And I felt also that Tal's kind of sensitivity to the music was incredible. I absolutely knew that I wanted to work with him. But it, it was like a long process of YouTube, <laughs> looking at actually a lot of techno videos and music videos and things like that. The project that this recital is the first kind of installment out of three, which I've called Bach and Beyond is bookended by Bach's Nadas and Partidas. How I kind of put together this program was thinking about how does Bach relate, how is it still relevant to our society today? Because every day that passes, we're further and further away from the time of Bach. It's 325 years in 2010 from um, the date of his birth, and yet there's, for me, there's still incredibly profound works. And when you look throughout history, it's, it's almost impossible to look at solo violin works without referencing back to Bach. The program I'm doing at Oberlin begins with the Bach E major partita, and Isai wrote a sonata called Obsession, which takes fragments of the first movement of that partita because it's, some, it's a piece that as violinist you start working on when, I don't know, when you're like 10 years old. The Salonen, um, I first met as a Pekka in 2002. I absolutely fell in love with his music. Finally, I end with the D minor partita by Bach. This, of course, has the Chacon in it, which throughout history, it's kind of followed us. And I have such an emotional kind of attachment to the piece. And also the Salonen connects to this because it's written in the form of a Chacon. Playing a solo violin recital is, is terrifying. And playing the Bach partitas and sonatas is terrifying. Uh, to me. I finally was able to get over in a sense not quite knowing if it would be a great thing for me to play in public these works that I've been playing privately for so long and I realized that it was an important journey to take and to make it more personal in a sense I added um, the Isai and the Salonen. To not do new music would seem strange to me, as well as not doing more traditional repertoire. You know, being in the present is also about recognizing the past and being able to look into the future. And I think what the purpose of art can be in a society is that it gives you kind of a peek to look at for the future of what we can be. It's always connected because it is for the future, but it's also for the present, and it might be from the past. <laughs>